Welcome to another episode of the Pat Dad with Miss Pat. We caught hell getting this together, but we're getting it together, y'all. I promise you. Ooh, I'd forgotten Lord. about that. We had so much fun. Yes. We you were so just... pissed off. You were like, let's do it tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> I wanted to do it tomorrow, but I'm so glad I did it today. We can still do it tomorrow if y'all got time. So I'm here with my good friend, Dion Curry. From What's up, y'all? Yes. And I'm here with Chris Baker Lane looking like a white woman in AI. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think exactly. that's a compliment. Yeah, I'm gonna choose that as a compliment. That's how I'll receive it. Hey, well, we y'all stay tuned after the music. We're gonna tell you how Chris dressed up in drag. We're gonna show you some pictures, and boy, did he look. A horrible day. I'm moving into my house, and it seems like I got a billion and sixteen million boxes to unpack. Uh, I had to organize. I've already ran out of closet space. No, I, I every set I go on, I steal their clothes. So I got. She's like, "Why do you have so many doubles or everything?" I said, "Bitch, mind your business. Hang that shit up." <laughs> <laughs> I've literally been unpacking ah uh, all day. I'm fucking wore out. Uh oh, no, Leo. Nothing but unpacking. That's all I've been fucking doing. I'm so tired of unpacking. God damn. Then you, I'm pulling out clothes that have been packed up for three years. Can't no fucking body wham no more. Oh, because they're, <laughs> they're too big for you? Too big. You lost <laughs> a lot of weight. Nigga, no. The kids. God oh. damn, Chris, you ain't got no common sense. I thought you were, I was complimenting <laughs> you. You've lost weight. You look good. I ain't lost shit. My wife needs a new wardrobe every every six months. Because you keep fucking her getting her pregnant. That's why. Well, I can't help it. <laughs> shit, that ain't our fault. That's, that's y'all fault. You going to make Can you me blame up? me? Yeah, I no. As backed up as you is, keep getting her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to the BET Awards this week. Oh, nice. Are you yeah. up for are you up for any awards or do you have like a speaking spot or what? I have a presenting spot. They ain't gonna ever nominate this past show for a BT Awards. But I'm gonna keep on going. Why? I, I don't I don't fucking know, Chris. You need to ask them why. Let me call I them say, right now. I say the same thing. We keep getting nominated for an Emmy, but we don't win. I'm like, why? When this show is about something and it says something and it's funny as hell, and I still don't, you know, but Would hey. Would you what? be mad? Would you be mad if the Miss if Miss Pat settles it won an Emmy or BET award, but Miss Pat Show never did? I probably would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably would be mad because a lot of work goes into the Miss Pat Show. I mean, Miss Pat settles it too, but. Yeah, it's just, I'm looking forward to winning for best supporting white person in a sitcom. <laughs> <on BT. laughs> what a season! I've start. I've already started watching them clips. They're fucking hilarious. I, I gotta give a shout out to Greensboro, North Carolina. Y'all came out all six shows. Thank y'all so very much. When I tell you those people work their dog shit out of me. I ain't never worked no Wednesday through no fucking Saturday. I think I left my vagina down there. <laughs> I saw I saw you were back in a club in the fat down group. I was like, oh, that's a weird sight. Was it weird going back to a club? No, we usually go back when we're working on things. I'm working on a new hour uh, mm. to get up to my new tour, Hot and Flashes, that's on sale now. The code is flashy for pre-sale. And so I'm just turning the hour over. That's all. So I go five, six months hard, back to back to back to back, mm. you know, to get it ready for the uh for the hot and flashy tour. How much does it change in those five sets that you do? Does the set change or do you like finish those five and go, all right, here, I need to change these things. Well, I'm still the way, the way I write my materials, I still do some old and then I dip the funny in now. I mean the new in now. And then as I, as I continue to write, I fade out the old. Okay. Yeah. So it's not, you're not tweaking through the weekend during the shows and stuff. Yeah, I play all the time. I, I throw out stuff, I put it in there, and then I, I you know, I come home during the weekend and I really work on how I'm, everything I'm gonna do. And then uh I just start to move stuff out. Okay. Yeah, so just writing a new hour, trying to get a new hour. 
is is there a new joke that you really love? Uh, it's always a new joke you really love. I think right now, um, dating young guys. Okay. Is there a joke in your career, it doesn't have to be this set, that you loved that the audience never got? Uh, I have a joke in my set that the audience uh, took a long time to get. And when I say it, it's uh, when my kid's father shot me in the back of the head, it wasn't his fault. It was my fault. I ducked slow. <laughs> you remember that deal? It took yep. me a while to get that shit funny. <laughs> people people just was not having it. You know, they immediately, oh, my God, I want to feel so. I said, bitch, I'm out. I won't laugh about this shit. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I, I'm talking about a whole... Uh, I think I think you know what's crazy because I try to bring up memories to people who's over 30 who can like I talk about the health department knocking on your door and tell you your pussy be reported. <laughs> um those was the good old days when they cared about you. They just let you die now. <laughs> <laughs> They took all the funding out of the STD man knocking on your door to come get you. And they would give you a model call back in the day, you know, to to uh to get a home. What? So, a model card. A model M -A -R card. M-A-R-T-A. I'm fucking it up. Oh, Marta. Like Marta. a bus, uh, yeah, oh, bus card. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. So you get free That's... transportation to get yourself fixed. No, get back. Modest they would come get you <laughs> <laughs> if they showed up at your house it wasn't an option for you not to go oh really no, you didn't have to go but they would tell you it, it's gonna keep burning you should go <laughs> you should probably go <laughs> you can't get the free you. bus pass without going <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna tell you them crabs gonna keep hatching oh my God. <laughs> how do they even find out well, back in the day, they'd be like, who did you slept with? And then they said, well, who did he sleep with? People just were snitching back in the day. <laughs> I wouldn't tell anybody. they like, give me every, all his partners. And we his need name. to know. We need to know <laughs> who we, was in the car. Yeah, who, who, who all got all this shit? We, gonna, we about to put all y'all lights out. So... <laughs> Chris said, "I ain't telling nobody. You just go. You just go. You've been you just go. Let them slowly burn, Chris. Hey, get yourself tested if you've been with me. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> Dang them! <laughs> you really are Republican. Oh my god! <laughs> it's called individualism. Look it up. <laughs> I don't think that individualism. Y'all burning together, baby. That's called <laughs> togetherism. I don't want to talk to those hoes." Chris is pro rough life. <laughs> well, damn, Chris. He said, don't tell nobody. <laughs> you, don't so, talk to, you don't talk to the government if you don't have to, especially not about your genitals. I don't think the government is coming to tell you your dick is on fire. I don't think that's the government. I've, have you been White on? White people think everybody is the government. The government is the people who take our taxes. The, everybody else is just the police and caseworkers. Caseworkers get a government check too, and I'm not talking to them. That ain't no government check. That's the that's the state she live in. You really want to talk? Bad. You really want to go back and talk to the past sexual partners? I don't. <laughs> well, Thank most you. of your past sexual partner look like you, so I wouldn't. Even... <laughs> <laughs> it's hurtful you... because it's true, but I still want an apology. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you had a drink back then. Said, "Well, this is the only pussy I'm gonna get." Lisa's no, got a come on, don't Lisa... Cosby me. Don't don't Cosby me. <laughs> No, I'm not saying that you put anything in anybody's drink. I'm just saying back in the day when she young said people, you had to get hammered. You had, oh. to, she said, you had to get hammered. I, oh, I had to have the beer goggles to have sex with these monsters yeah. is what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, because you was like, ain't nobody else going to give me no pussy. Look, a few, no. of them were, a few of them were sea monsters. I'm not going to lie. Sea you got monsters. a pretty good eye, Chris. You got a pretty yeah. good eye. I've, now you do. I think. Let me tell you why I think you got a good eye, because you was hanging around us. Because them bitches before us, them look like uncles. They were stun uncles. These new nigga bitches you got. <laughs> <laughs> These new nigga listeners you been listening to. Oh my I gosh. mean, and the women who try to hit on you now are even you. You do you. I tell you, since I met you, it's been five years. 
your whole demeanor and spirit. When you first drug yourself into my house, you I could tell. I said, this guy is so beat down. Yeah. He's so scared of us. Because we offered you food that day. And you was like, I've never eaten at Black People House before. <laughs> you were sweating like I had got naked and told you you can't be on my podcast unless you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> you and look we like did, you- which is why she's talking about my past partners. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> I just don't think you should you talk bitch. about yourself like that. You bitch. <laughs> but- yeah, <I'm> stupid as fuck. <laughs> he said that shit so smooth like he was waiting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe she set herself up like that. Come on. <laughs> But he guess said what? all this nice shit about you. He like, yeah. <laughs> now I'm 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 on BET calling black people stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you d- to just see the confidence and the turnaround, you know, it, it's beautiful. Is I mean, it's, you walked in to me. You walked in my house as a wounded dog, and then it, 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 you you you, you walked you? out. A, She's not a, lying, and I still have a, a long way to go. Believe me, I'm still. No, I'm, you don't. No, you but, don't. No, you don't. But, you know why I know you don't? Because you, she's the black Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give white people confidence. Yes, I do. When black Chris came super. to us, he was a beat down soul. No, when Chris came <laughs> to us, he was a beat down cracker with no salt. <laughs> what we have done, we have added the salt back to this cracker. <laughs> with some confidence, and now this cracker got salmon on it. Salmon, <laughs> <laughs> salmon. <on. laughs> it is true, and I do miss. I miss hanging out at your house. I miss going over there every week. I miss. I miss seeing you as much as we used to. Like it was always fun going over there. You know, this is fun, yeah. but it. You know, it was. I yeah. love getting to come down to Atlanta and hang out at your house. And I still am like awkward and shy, but you know, no, not, you're not. not like you know, at, 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 there was times that I can tell, even dealing with your, you know, with your family, your person, like you would never say something, certain mm-hmm. things. Now you speak the fuck up. Yeah, and that's what happened when you come to Miss Pat Boot Camp. Cause I ain't, I'm gonna let you know. Don't fuck what people say. Say what's on your mind, and you keep the fuck going. I you still, keep- I still am a little. I'm not afraid of you. It's just, it's like I'm very. <laughs> I try to be respectful, but you push my button so much. There just comes a breaking point where I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do it very often anymore, but. <laughs> I mean, and it should. You should be able to. You know. Everybody should be able to stand up for themselves. I think that's the thing with you is you like that, though. You want to know exactly what somebody's thinking. You You don't you hated you hated when I would go, well, say the fuck. What do you think? I want to hear what you think. (laughs) You know what? Somebody was telling me they said they said uh, the wound, uh, a wounded person. They say I sniff out people, you know, like weak people. I, I don't I don't like weak people. Yeah. I'm not gonna say I don't like weak people. Is that I would tell you you're weak and you need to be strong. Yeah. You know, and, and I think I think a lot of times people, you know, f- take that the wrong way as me being mean. But I'll be like, no, say what the fuck is on your mind. Tell me how you feeling. You should be able to walk through this world and tell people how the fuck you're feeling. Did That's you see close. the Chinese <laughs> attempt to take over the WNBA? Why is the Chinese trying to buy? Um... They got a seven foot five, 16 year old Chinese girl. What? They <laughs> built her. Oh my <laughs> That's God. That's what I said. Look at this girl. So it says seven three, but <clears throat> this is. This is She's huge. Why is she? They... Seven know. foot three, 17 year old girl playing for China's U18 basketball team right now. They just beat Indonesia by almost 60 points. And I had to check some of the heights of the girls she's playing against. And number 16 here in the red is 5'9". Then look at the hoop. She has to be all of 7'3". Look where she's releasing her layups. That's at 10 feet. There's maybe two or three women in the entire world (laughs) who could meet her at this height off of a straight vertical. Unless they let them other girls climb on ladders. They need to just put a <laughs> ladder so, ball. <laughs> if you're listening, I'm not kidding. Like she literally, her fingertips are two inches from the top of the rim. It's crazy. Yeah. So she's seven three. Her wingspan. So what she get? What does she get? Two hundred points by herself. Has she's, to. She getting two hundred points by herself. I seen it today. I said they just built this girl. I'm just now hearing about it. 
She from so, Wuhan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the new Tesla on two feet. Yeah. <laughs> Did Fauci fund her? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> Man, this girl came out of nowhere. She big as hell. Ain't nobody said nothing about her. What she eat? What she like? Did she go to the prom? How the fuck are you 17 and we ain't heard nothing about you playing basketball? Nothing about the prom. No dating that you like to read. You, you built the computer. You just show up one day. Yep. Here I am. There's like a seven foot eight French name guy that's coming to the NBA too. He's crazy tall. Florida just signed like a seven foot five big ass white boy. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what people are eating right now, but like the biggest Yana, white boy I've ever seen in my life. I, I was watching the NBA and Wimbenyana was standing next to Shaq and he was tiny. Shaq was tiny next to Wimbenyana. Uh, who the fuck make they clothes? They so I watched some TV show with Shaq and he starting in like middle school had to go to this special shoemaker in Atlanta and he still buys all of his shoes from this shoemaker and he goes he will like fund buying suits and clothes and beds and all kinds of things for uh for the for these guys like I know Greg Oden here locally I know people had he like they found out what he was sleeping on his I think what was he like seven three seven four Dion seven one. Seven yeah, one. seven one. He was huge, but like he didn't have a regular bed, and his parents or mom couldn't afford it. Forget what the story was, and so these people built him a bed or bought him a special made bed. Like it's hard being that big because you got to get everything special ordered, and if you don't come mm -hmm. from like pretty decent circumstances, you don't get proper fitting clothes or shoes or any of that. You can't go to J.C. Penny. I mean, when you that big, do you wipe your ass with the whole roll? You got to use a towel, right? You gotta go like this, right? <laughs> why? Why would tall people have? <laughs> why would they have bigger shits than fat people? It doesn't even make any sense. It's. I think in her mind, they all have T Rex arms, so it's not their arms aren't proportional. I'm just saying. I mean, and then, can you imagine them eating up all the hamburgers off the grill, straight yeah. out the fire? Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's shit. Somebody that big should be that food stamp should be their medication. <laughs> <laughs> you should automatically quarter qualify. You are a Johnny. Giant. I'm here to fulfill my prescription. <laughs> Damn, I wanna, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, think about this. How many Kotex she probably have to wear at one time? When they when they walk into a buffet, is it just like no? <laughs> Why would she have to wear more coat? Oh, well, you got a bigger canyon, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just say it's, it's so it's so high in the air. Do they you make extra tall people have bigger vaginas? Get the tampax extra McStuffins. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's a big is... kid. <laughs> that's a big ass kid. She was huge. It just popped up on the scene. It said they won by 60 points. And, and, she, and, and she got all the points by herself. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said the girl Gardner was only 5'9". Let me tell you something. If I, They should have had two small bitches hit that hole in her knees. <laughs> Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan. Yeah. <laughs> they was they should have wrapped two small bitches around her legs to slow her down. <laughs> so somebody else could take the ball from her. Those poor little Indonesian players like climbing on top of each other's backs. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, get her. That's fucked up. That's too big. She's that, only 17. Oh man. I She's got room to that, grow. I hope they put something in her back to keep her from growing. Well, how is ain't she Chinese? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So why didn't they put her feet in them shoes? Don't they stop their feet from growing? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Japanese. That's <laughs> different. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think they do that anymore. <laughs> Cause I just <laughs> <laughs> I think that's geisha. That's <laughs> White face involved. We should move on. <laughs> Let me tell you. So I was somebody was showing me that other day how they feet, how they toes they just lay up under their feet. Yeah, the foot. When they talk about these people's feet, 
<laughs> yeah, that shit blew my mind. Cause you know, as a kid, you hear about this stuff, but then somebody pulled it up the other day, and I got to see what it looked like when they feet been in them shoes along, like all they like. Hey, just let the woman have big feet, cause what, what, <laughs> by the time she don't turn her toes back, that shit wasn't pretty. I was like, God damn. <laughs> and you know, there's some foot guy out there that's into that, right? There's <laughs> you know what's look, looking up Japanese feet pictures of binding. <laughs> Is, is that what it's called bonding? Yeah, for mm-hmm. bonding. That shit grossed me out. <laughs> All because they don't have a big foot? So did they, they wanna... sleep in them shoes? I think they had to wear them all the time, right? Like, It's like uh, if Ripley's, believe it or not, like, and they had the African ring women who have... Like, oh, yeah, it's not, you're, not, you're not bound if you get to take it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I never understood why them women wanted them. Them African women wanted them giraffe necks. <laughs> I, <laughs> I saw one one time. They took that goddamn necklace off. That neck it fell over. <laughs> oh, no. Did you think it was your sister? <laughs> <laughs> that neck was longer than some dicks. I was like, <laughs> wow. And they ain't never had their throat slit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you don't know where to start. Down here, up here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I bitch, grew up. This a... ain't foil. I can't cut this. <laughs> you got to hit that bitch up... in the throat with a hammer. <laughs> growing up in Plainfield, you just look at that and you go, man, black people are crazy. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's going to show you how much you know. That ain't black people. I know. I know. <laughs> then somebody's like, that's from 1920 in the middle of the Congo. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's 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 what we say about when when white people go backpacking. I'm going across the world <laughs> with fifteen dollars. <laughs> I know some of my in laws go backpacking. They stay in hostels, and they're like, "Oh, I only spent ten dollars, and I had to shit in a hole in the ground." I'm like, "Why?" <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. I shared a bathroom with fourteen people. Yeah, but what a, what an enriching Nobody experience. Spoke English, I and I had no idea what was going on. All right, was a new country. Yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> Nobody had deodorant on. It was Germany. It's fine. <laughs> so just go backpacking. Isn't yeah. that how that white kid got locked up that time who ended up passed away? I'm gonna go with yes, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but wasn't he backpacking and they thought he was a spy? Oh, and this was in uh Iran, maybe I think you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I just know they locked him up. And they I think when they gave back to his parents. No, that was the key that they gave back to his parents. Can you play the kazoo one more time? <laughs> She's hey, rubbing man. her nose from her allergies. <laughs> McDuffin, please beam the fuck out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think my allergy is fucking up, but no, I was talking about I was talking about the kid who um I think he stole a pitch and they locked him up. And then I think when our president got him back, when they got him back, he was in such bad condition. Oh, yes, yes. Uh I think it might have been Iran, and he died like two weeks later, right? Damn. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm scared to go anywhere. I'm, you know, I'm gonna go to the bar, but I, I'd be scared to go. You know, I'd be... is Floyd still stuck over there? Who? Floyd Mayweather is he still stuck over there? He was stuck in the bar. Yeah, one of somebody in his group has stole something. They wouldn't let him leave till they got. Got back whatever it was they stole. You didn't hear mm. about that? Mm-mm. No, pull it up. I'm looking. Uh, no doubt. Let me look up Dubai. Or was that one of them fake AI stories? Ah, uh, it's rumors peddled by Gervonta Davis. Oh, but he he it was not real. And you let the buy don't let you back after you steal stuff. They paddle you to death. Them Canaan videos when YouTube first came out were fucking brutal. Which oh, one? That... They used to just back when YouTube first started, you could put anything on there and there was no like filters or anything. I remember watching like I think it was Hong Kong, like back in the Singapore. 40s or 50s, something like that. Yeah, Singapore. And they would just 
public canings, just giant ass bamboo sticks, just whacking the fuck out of people. I, I mean, in the 90s, a guy was there. He was an American and he spit on the sidewalk and they have very strict societal rules about things. And if you mess up, they caned you. Like, I've never not thought about caning in Singapore after that. <laughs> Shit was wild. Like, you just go to a different country and you're like, that's eh. like, oh, here's 40 lashes with a cane. Yeah. A giant ass cane. Fucking cane was huge. <laughs> and they were just breaking, just hitting people over the back with it 50 times. 50 licks from any kind of thing. What? Right. You cross the street when you wasn't supposed to? Okay, froze. well, here, here, Dion, we've lost Pat. We need to, we need to wrap up. No, you <laughs> have, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, what would I have done if they were gonna cane me? Thank <laughs> you, God, I'm fat, nigga. You'd have got that cane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All them checks you forged, woo, <laughs> nigga. I ain't gonna forge down over there. I know the American rules. <laughs> Keep it up on the five hundred dollar, and they're gonna tell you stop doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you go with five hundred dollars, and that's a fucking problem. Nah, I'm not going nowhere. I, 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 I swear, I. It is so hard to vacate because you see everybody in Mexico having a good time. Then you see that couple in Mexico who got electrocuted in the jacuzzi. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like. I, I can't do it. I can't. I seen the video of a cow get electrocuted the other day. That shit was so goddamn funny. A cow? So there, was, there was a live wire that fell from a power line, and this cow was fucking playing with it with his tongue. It bit down on that. <laughs> I, I need your I need your Instagram login. Your Instagram is so much more fun than mine. <laughs> Look at that cow, sir. <laughs> Did he die? No, he didn't die. When they get the rest of the cows is like, damn. <laughs> Did nobody run over there trying to knock him off that why either did Oh, that shit was too they, fucking they funny. might would not even kill that cow because he already fried on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have bookmarked it in my Twitter. That's where I saw it. Oh, that shit was so funny. I hate Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that cow said, Whoa. <laughs> Did he let it go? Yeah, he let this shit go. <laughs> yeah. so my thing is, who the fuck is recording it? Why you didn't run up there and stop that cow? They got electrocuted too. They could have told him not to run up on it. Oh, it already had it in his mouth when the video started. Well, uh, you know, y'all know I love y'all to death. So make sure y'all go to misspackcomedy.com because July 12th through the 13th, I will be in Salt Lake City. At the Wise Guys. Ooh, I got a little time off. July 19th through the 20th, Comedy Connection. Providence, Rhode Island, baby. And August 2nd through the 3rd, I will be at Bricktown Comedy Club. Bricktown Comedy Club in Tulsa, Oklahoma. August 23rd through the 24th, Blue Room Comedy. That's one of my favorite little places. Springfield, Missouri. Huntsville, Alabama. I'm on my way back to you, boo-boo. Uh, August 30th through the 31st. And then... Uh, the hot and flashes to a start. The first one is September the thirteenth at the Paramount Theater, Denver, Colorado. Uh, Boise, Idaho. Yeah, I said Boise the fuck Idaho. I'm on my way to see y'all. Egyptian Theater, baby. September the fourteenth, Seattle, Washington. Neptune Theater. That's right. September the fifteenth. So many more dates. Go to misspatcomedy.com. Make sure you get your merch. Make sure you get any and everything you need about me at misspatcomedy.com. And y'all keep killing it, cause I'm gonna keep killing it. And fuck what you heard, and fuck what you said, and fuck what you seen, and fuck everybody. Yeah. Y'all like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> y'all make sure y'all keep keep streaming season four of the Miss Pat show and every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. you can see Miss Pat settles it on BET Miss Pat the Miss Pat show is on BET plus so make sure you keep streaming it Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. 
please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.